You know, I'm really going to enjoy that backyard pond, just sitting and looking at it. And sitting and looking is what my next project is all about. I'm headed out to Vista, California to visit Barbara Neerman and Rich Mulebauer. They got a project they'd like a hand with. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Welcome to our little piece of the world. Oh, well, thank you very much. You're BJ, I I'm guess? BJ. Nice to meet you? you. I'm Great. Rick. Hey, Rick. How you doing? Good, good, thanks. And who's this? This is Melody Blue, and hey, she has a Melody. pine cone for you. Melody Blue and Mallory Skye, Rick and BJ's three-year-old twins, welcome me with a pair of pine cones. Then we're off to the backyard to see the source of those cones. Now, that's a tree waiting for a bench, if I ever saw one. Yeah, you guys it spend is. a lot of time out here in the yard? We do. We love to spend time in the backyard. It's, it's our beautiful. favorite place. Okay, well, uh, what I'm thinking of probably is something that's circular. It goes all the way around the tree. Uses the tree maybe as a, as a back. Would okay. that work for you? Oh, that Sounds would good. be great. After drawing a sketch of the bench, I run it by BJ and Rick. So this will be a six-sided bench, a hexagon, and uh, self-supporting. Have legs here at each joint like this. To build a bench, we're going to first construct two sides of our six-sided hexagon. Actually, we'll make a pair of these. Then connect these two sections together with seat planks to form the complete bench. We'll start by cutting all the seat boards. Each end needs to be cut at a 30-degree angle. All right, I've set up a power miter saw here. This is where we're going to do all of our angle cuts. Here's all of our wood. We'll be using redwood today. We're here in California. Why not? It's great wood. We clamp the first board onto the miter saw and set the angle for our cut. <laughs> BJ can hardly wait to get started. Okay, you want to try? No. Well, <laughs> well, not exactly. This is intimidating for me. Yeah? Because this is why I'm married, so he does this stuff <laughs> he does usually, it. right? Uh -oh. That's all over now. <laughs> I know, really. Different, I'm going to uh, be a... Uh, different, uh, I am woman. Hear me roar. <laughs> After a quick lesson, BJ not only roars, she makes the cut. Awesome. <laughs> I did it. You did, did it. it. And look at this. I saw I did it. That's great. Look at this. A perfect 30 degree cut. Oh, yeah. Your first time. That looks really good. Oh, nice, nice and clean. Whoa. All right, so let's cut a few more of these. Okay. All right, Rick, you want to do the next one? Sure. With our first row of seat boards sure. cut, we place them around the tree for a test. Okay, oh, that's great, huh? Okay, good. All right, Does we've got enough room, which obviously okay. we do. We're gonna, we're not gonna have to worry about being too small. Uh, I also think this is probably a pretty good distance from the edge of the bench to the tree, mm -hmm. you know, so you can lean back. Our bench seat will be three planks wide. To cut the two remaining boards to the proper length, we lay all three boards side by side with quarter inch spacers in between. Then, use a straight edge to extend the lines from the first board to the second two. After marking all our cuts, we lay the seat planks out on the patio to make sure we remembered enough of our high school geometry. Looks great. Time now to build the legs. And it's going to be very simply just two two-by-sixes like this, and then across the top, we're going to put a couple of one-by-fours and we'll have uh, six of these. Yeah, six. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's uh, lay these down to start with. And uh, I'm gonna place this on here. BJ uses a nail gun to temporarily tack the one by fours to the legs. Go here. Next, Rick drills clearance holes through them. Very nice. Very nice, okay. okay. Great, guys. Good. All right, now uh, what we're gonna do is drop in, this is a, uh, a carriage bolt. Mm -hmm. Galvanized. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to plunk these right in the hole here. Okay. Okay. And we'll give them a little tap just to set them. We turn the legs over and add a washer and nut to each carriage bolt. Rick and BJ tighten the nuts with a socket wrench, making sure the washers compress the wood just slightly. With all the legs completed, our next step is to attach them to the seat planks. We start by laying the seat planks on the patio upside down and standing the legs on top. Each leg is positioned directly over the joint where the sections of the bench come together. Rick and BJ drive screws diagonally through the legs and into the underside of the seat planks. This gives us just enough stability to turn the bench upright so that we can more securely fasten the legs. Broken neck in a way, because it's not strong yet, so grab right into your corner. Okay. We're all going to lift together. Okay. And then just gently all the way over and on mm -hmm. its legs. 
Now this will be much stronger when we put the next set of screws in, okay? Mm -hmm. The next set of screws will be driven in from the top through the seat planks and into the leg cross braces. We countersink the heads to keep them well below the surface. With the two sections complete, we place them in position around the tree, looking for the most level spots. What I want to try to do is avoid having the legs fall on top of a root, because I'd like to not have to cut the, um, uh, the legs off, and I certainly don't mm -hmm. want to cut the roots of the tree. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's start here. We dig away enough soil to allow each bench leg to rest on a flat and level surface. This is where I earn my pay. <laughs> That's California. I feel like I'm digging for gold here. <laughs> Once the sections are level, we place them exactly one seat board's length apart, drop in the remaining planks, and secure them with screws. Our bench construction is complete. Well, it's solid. Looks good. You happy with it? It looks great. I'm really happy with it, Ron. Good. It's going to bring enjoyment for years to come. I hope so, yeah, and the little girls will grow up with this. Uh, one more thing I'd like you to do sometime in the next few days. Put some uh, sealer on here, will you? Okay. The sealer will extend the life of the bench, keep it looking great, and protect the top from getting rough. Of course, okay. that'll make it more comfortable as well. So it was fun working with you and oh, uh, the whole family, actually. Thanks. This was really, well, it was a family project. Everybody got involved. I have <laughs> apple juice for the twins and champagne for the stars oh, of this show. Oh, champagne. <clears throat> and that's the apple juice. Oh, apple juice, <laughs> I don't know about that. Right. And so we undertake what I'm sure will be the first of many celebrations under the family tree. Got a favorite tree in your own yard? Well, why not circle it with a bench?